Thanks for stopping by your mobile tech. Today we're gonna be unboxing the brand new Bose Lifestyle 650. It's their flagship model, not to be confused with the Bose Lifestyle 600. While there are some similarities, there's also some dissimilarities, and I'll be going over that a little later. But for right now, let's get this box open and see what Bose has in store for us this time. All right, so the first thing we have here would be Lifestyle 650 and 600 home entertainment system. So it's the same page that our paper, their document that they would include. And it basically tells you how to start the setup from stages one, two, three, four, and five. So that's the first thing you get set that down there next you've got this guy coming out <clears throat> let's see what this is all about Get that out the way slice that open pull that back what do we have that I almost dropped all right, so in here we have the main console. Some people refer to it as the brain, but this is where obviously all your inputs and outputs will go. This has one HDMI, HDMI, HDMI output. It has five HDMI inputs and it has ethernet, a USB service port, uh, acoustic for your base module, IR blaster, analog, coaxial in, optical in, and all the speaker connections. It's got a lot of connectors. Set this over here. Let's see what's in here. Cardboard. You got four AA batteries. That's always good to have. It's a really interesting looking remote. But from what I understand, it's a universal remote, so therefore it can control a lot of different devices. This would be your standard high-speed HDMI cable, as it says here on the packaging. All right, let's get rid of this. Set this down here. All right, what do we have next? that open what's in here all right in here you've got four four different power cables for the various components you have a uh, lifestyle 650 home entertainment system owner's guide that always comes in handy what else have we got in here these are all the contact numbers uh, throughout the entire world that if you need help you can call one of these numbers and get some support it comes in handy uh, this would be your warranty information what else do we have anything else that looks like that's it for this box there's quite a few boxes in here now this unit costs about four thousand dollars so quite naturally, there should be a lot of boxes in here. Let's get this one open. Okay. This appears to be, this would be the uh, main power source for the main console here. So we'll just set that next to the console. And that's all that's in this one. Some cardboard packaging, I guess, to support the, the shape of the boxes and to keep them nice and tight. 
Uh, let's go for this one. Cut this one open. Make sure you guys can see. Okay, and here we have the uh, rubber feet that you would use for the center console, which would protect the center console or the center channel speaker, I should say, as well as the surface that you're placing the speaker onto. Inside of here, it looks like this would also be the IR blaster. So for whatever reason, if your remote control can't quite get a signal or you need to put it in a more convenient place, this allows you to relocate the IR blaster. Very similar to when you have a cabinet and you put all your electronics in there, but you close the door and then it covers or blocks the infrared um, receiver, this will allow you to relocate it somewhere possibly on the glass or somewhere inconspicuous where your remote can reach it. So that's nice. Um, first time I've ever seen this, this is actually a Bose Phillips screwdriver. Interesting, but nice to have. They try and make it all inclusive. This is your optical audio cable. You know, for those of you that are, you know, audiophiles or really want to set your system up right without using RCAs, this would be the way to go. Use optical. Nothing's better than digital, right? This would be your Adapt IQ headset. So what you do with these are you, you put them on and there's a very, very long cord. I'm not exactly sure how long the cord is. I'll find out and put it in the description below. But you put this headset on and in previous Bose systems, it will ask you to sit in random locations throughout the room that you're setting this up in and it will try and configure itself for the best sound possible. So that's a great tool to have. This is a uh, microfiber cloth. So if you want to clean the tops of these things, because uh, Bose this time with the 650 have made the top of all their speakers, the console, all of it, they've made a nice thin layer of glass that goes on top of it. If you'd like to keep that spot free, fingerprint free, this is what you would use. So I'll set that over there. What else do we have? How about this guy? Let's see what we have here. These are there's two of them. I'll only pull one out for illustration purposes, but this is what you would use to connect your rear surround speakers so that they become wireless. So you don't have to run any wires. You can just plug one into the speaker and one into power, and therefore it'll get the signal uh, wirelessly, probably on a 2.4 gigahertz signal. I'm guessing I'll find that out too and put that in the description but I'm almost positive it's 2.4 and this allows the speakers to be wireless so you don't have to run wires or tear open your walls like I do. So I will actually, you know, I'm just gonna set them all out there so you see what you get. I think that's a better idea. Just goes to show this isn't scripted. This comes right off the top of my head as I go along. Oh, this guy's got some weight to it. Let's see what this is. All right. There we go. So these would be two things. This is actually the speakers that you use for your front left and right and your rear left and right. And this is what I say twofold is because for one, that's what it is, is the speaker. But the second part of this is this is the difference between the 600 and the 650. The 600 still uses a jewel cube. And this is also called a jewel cube, but this is called the Omni Jewel Cube. And the reason being is that there's these perforated, perfectly drilled holes all the way around 360 degrees around this speaker, which is supposed to give it 360 degrees sound. Whereas the jewel speakers in the 600 and other series are aimed in a certain direction and that's where the sound goes. This is supposed to get the sound in all 360 degrees. So I'll let you know how these work, but I like the way they look so far. I'll set that over there. 
And there's four of them, so I'll open them all. There's another one. Probably going to be one of the larger or maybe even the largest unboxings that I do. I can't imagine having a product that weighs more than 70 pounds that would I, I'd be unboxing. But this one is 70 pounds and uh, we're going for it. So far, I like what I see. Hope you do too. Especially if you're spending $4,000 on a surround sound system for your living room or bedroom or wherever you may be putting this. So we'll set those there. Let's get this crap out of the way. Okay, and in here, now these are the, uh, on the package it says Amijul foot connectors, but what these are are actually bases that connect to the bottom of the speaker and then the speaker wire connects to this. And then that's how you get your, your sound. So I'll put these next to the speakers. These would be your, now this is different. See, this is a proprietary two pin plug on each one of these. And on the flip side, you have the standard DC po polarized uh, negative and positive or black and red as we commonly call them that you connect to your speakers. So that's how this would work for the OmniJewel speakers. However, and this is another uh, difference between the 600 and the 650. The 650 comes with a center channel that has five speakers built into it. Whereas the 600 and other models have one Joule speaker, one Joule speaker, and that's basically what you get. And it sounds great, but I can only imagine having a miniature sound bar as a center channel with five speakers and it would sound much better. Which brings me to my next point, which is this has been a thorn in my side. Why? Because I had a Bose V20 system and I had to open up my wall just so I can put this particular cable in because for whatever reason, Bose decided to make this a four pin connection and it's a four pin connector into the back of the center channel and there's another connector that goes into the other end uh, of the Bose console. So you don't get a DC polarized positive, negative, black, right, black, red wire on either one of these. So if that's what you've got in your walls already and you're going to buy the 650 thinking you're just going to pop those speakers in, for most of your speakers, actually all of your speakers except for this one, that'll work. But for this one, you've got to use this for the center channel or it will not work. And as far as I know, there isn't any adapters. Uh, I'll contact Bose if there are adapters. I'll definitely keep you posted and let you know. So that goes to that. This is just uh, miscellaneous packaging. This I believe to be the aforementioned center channel, which to me resembles a sound bar, but they're calling it the center channel. Yes, this is exactly what it is. So there it is. And it's, I, I think I like the way it looks as well because it also has that um, perforated Omni Jewel uh, screen on the front. Well, it's not even a screen, it's actually part of the speaker itself, but it's just perforated. And I, I was told it's about a thousand of these different holes in here. I'm not exactly sure, and it really doesn't matter at this point, but this is what it is. So you don't get a Q speaker, which is about a third of this. And then here on the back is that connector I was talking about. If you can get that in there. And uh, without that special cable to go in here, as you can tell, you're not gonna get this to work. So this would be your center channel. And I'm basically running out of room here. We'll put this right down the middle. And it looks like I made a mistake. This is actually well, like I said, this isn't scripted. 
So I'm actually going to pop this loose so you can see what this looks like. But this is actually that uh, connector that goes into the back of the center channel. And then this other end will go into your Bose system. So this goes into the Bose console. This goes into your center speaker. Made a mistake. It happens. Uh, no one's perfect. Let's see. This is more packaging. Oh, I think I know what's coming up next. This, more packaging. So this last one with the two handles in it, I'm almost positive is the bulk of this whole system. And this is the uh, subwoofer. Okay, that was pretty heavy. So we'll just get rid of that box altogether and we'll work with this one. Now let's get this open. Cut across here. All right, all right. Uh, there's some verbiage here, so I'm gonna actually turn this around so you guys can see it as well. And it says, pull up in a whole bunch of different languages that I don't recognize. So let's see, it says pull up, let's pull up and see what happens. Oh, well, it releases this uh, styrofoam cover. And then they've made sure to really protect this subwoofer for obvious reasons. So I'm gonna see if I can get this thing out of here without any problems. And that's all that's left in here. So let's bring this back into, into view here. So here's that very nice glass top I was talking about that Bose decided to go with. And as I rock it out of this, there you go. There you have it. This would be the Bose um, Acoustamass base module. I believe that's what they're calling it. I know this is the base module. I don't know if they necessarily call it acoustic mass, but they've called all the others acoustic mass. Let's see, what else do we have on here? We're on the back. You have power. You have a uh, plug for service. I'm not exactly sure how that works. You have a status, so if it's clipping, I guess this will blink red to let you know that you've pushed it to its limits. This acoustic mass end, this is a wireless sub, but you can wire it with a three and a half millimeter plug from the speaker directly into the back of the Bose console and sub in. So there you go. That'd be all the components. There they are. That's $4,000 worth of electronics. Oh, incidentally, should you decide to um, mount your speakers, which I am gonna do, I think that's a much cleaner look. You will need to buy these OmniJewel wall brackets. They don't work with the V20s, the V35s, or any of the other systems. It's only going to work with the OmniJewel speakers. And there is a part number down here, and it's about 15 to 20 characters long. And I didn't memorize it, but I will put it in the description. Alongside that, if you're going to mount your front, left, and right speakers, you might as well mount that wonderful center speaker with five speakers uh, built into it. And for that, you would need the OmniJewel center channel wall bracket. And that's what this looks like. And it also has a part number that what I will include in the description below. So if I were you, uh, you know, I would probably pick these up. They're not entirely expensive. I think one's $25 and the other one might be like $35. I'll, I'll find out what the exact prices are and put it below, but you can get these. I looked it up. You can get these at Fry's. You can get them at Best Buy. You can order them directly from Bose. You can get them on Amazon, which is where I think I got these. And that would allow you to have that nice, clean, uh, non-cluttered, wire-free look if that's what you want to do. Okay. So there you have it. 
That's the Bose Lifestyle 650, completely unboxed. Um, it's about a $4,000 system. You get a lot for it, but uh, some people say you pay for the name. I've had Bose a few times over. I've always liked their quality and their sound and their design. And I like the fact that you get so much sound out of a small speaker. But that's just my opinion. Um, I'm gonna install it and then I'll let you know what I personally feel about it. Again, I have yet to have anyone send me anything. These are things that I have purchased and personally installed and used and I give my honest, unbiased opinion. Now, if Bose or Harman Kardon or Sony or Apple or anyone starts sending me things, I'll let it be known. You can always come here and find out at least what I feel of these products. You may not agree, you might agree. Disagree or not, comments below, like, subscribe, let me know what you think and what's on your mind. This is your mobile tech and thanks for watching.